Morning, Grey Furies. Mr. O'Leary here. Um, welcome to the Wednesday lesson or the third lesson of, for writing for remote learning. And Wednesday is always our handwriting day. Um, well done to a lot of people who did handwriting really, really well last week. I feel like handwriting is getting better. I feel like we're getting a lot better at it. Um, it's been good to see the effort that put it, people are putting into the handwriting. It's coming out in spelling when you guys are setting out your books in in spelling and I know um, all of us teachers have been handing out some stamps for people that have done such a good job and need a stamp because they're on their way to getting a pen license um, and who knows we might even have some people by the end of remote learning who have um, a pen license and can use a pen when they do their writing um, so today guys we're going to have another focus another revision session so last week it was clockwise letters that we were, we were revising. This week we're going to revise anti-clockwise letters. So anti-clockwise letters go the opposite way. And I'll show you a little bit about what that means. I did have a few problems showing you on the video last week because um, the video shows it back to front from what I'm doing. So I'm not going to show it like I did last week. So there's three things that you need to do. You need to identify the correct starting point for the anti-clockwise letters. So we'll be doing that again. Uh, you, I can write capital and lowercase anti-clockwise letters. So you'll be writing capital version and the lowercase version. And you can, I can categorize the letters into head and body and body and tail letters. So we'll have a look at what you have to do. Now last week, some people found uh, where I would print this out, which is great if you want to do that. If you don't want to do that, then just do it into in your draft book, your purple book, or I know my class has a purple book, but it might be a different book, but it's your draft book, okay? So the first thing you're going to do, if you're doing this in your book, you're going to write out the anti-clockwise letters five times. So we've got A, C, D, E, F, G O Q S. So you're going to write each one out five times. They're called anti clockwise letters because they go in this direction. They start here and they go this way. Clockwise letters, they started here and went that way. Okay, and clockwise is that way, anti clockwise is that way. Hopefully you can see my mouse there. Um, <clears throat> so once you've done that, your next job will be to um, write out the letters, each letter and write the capital version of it as well. So you're going to write the capital and then the lowercase. A couple of letters that are really important to remember. Uh, there's, a, I guess, a little trick to them. With these letters, most of them start in this corner and then go that way, like the A that way. C, same. D here, don't start your Ds up here. I actually made that mistake and you'll see it lower, lower down. Ds don't start up here, they start down here. And they, they like an A, but they keep going up and then back around. Make sure you have the flick. E's start in the middle, go around, and then the F. That tricks a lot of people. F starts here at the top in the in the sky, at the top double third. It goes all the way down through the middle, right down below to the next dotted third, all right? And then we do the cross like the T. Very important you remember that. G's start here, they go around, back up to where it starts, and then you do the loop at the bottom. O's start in this corner, go around, and then they have that little flick. So I'm just gonna zoom in a bit. Don't just make your O look like this. All right, it has to have that flick for it to be a, a properly formed O. Q starts in that same position, it's kind of like an O. It goes straight down and makes a little flick at the end. S, one of the few letters that is the same in the capital and a lowercase. All right, but it starts on this side, goes around. Don't start at the bottom. Make sure you start it at the top. With the capital letters, all capital letters will start at the dot at the uh, top dotted third. They don't go down into the lower level. Okay, the lower dotted third. Um, if you to remember the G. 
it's kind of like a C, but then it goes right up to the dot of third and down. Whereas the uh, uppercase C just goes around. Q, kind of like a O, has this little line that get crosses. Okay, so you need to practice writing the capital and the lowercase version. Next activity is you're going to write the anti-clockwise letters that have body only. A, C, E, O, and S. Then next, write the anti-clockwise letters that have a body and a tail. So tail is when it goes down. Notice how on my Q there, it doesn't go all the way to dotted third. I'm really strict about that. Make sure it gets to the dotted third. Okay, you just need to do lowercase. And I put the D in because the D doesn't fit in either of these categories because it has the body and also the, um, the top there. Lastly, your job is to get a purple, which mine hasn't come out that clearly. You're going to mark the starting point and you're going to write the letters. This is my mistake. The D doesn't start there. It starts here. It goes back up and around. All right, guys, these videos are a bit longer, I know. Um, hopefully, you understand what you have to do and make sure you watch the video, which you already have because you wouldn't have heard me say this. All right, see you guys.